Well, it's a great pleasure to welcome President uh, Buhari uh, and his delegation here to the Oval Office uh, for his first visit since uh, the historic election that took place. Uh, Nigeria is obviously uh, one of the most important countries in the world and uh, one of the most important countries in the African continent. Uh, recently, we saw an election uh, in which uh, a peaceful transition to a new government took place, uh, and it was an affirmation of uh, Nigeria's commitment to democracy, a, a recognition that uh, although uh, Nigeria is a big country and a diverse country uh, with many different parts, Nevertheless, uh, the people of Nigeria understand that uh, only through uh, a peaceful uh, political process uh, can change take place. Uh, President Buhari uh, comes into office uh, with a, a reputation for integrity and a very clear agenda, uh, and that is to uh, make sure that uh, he is being, bringing uh, safety and security and peace to his country. He's very concerned about uh, the spread of Boko Haram and the violence that's taken place there and the atrocities that they've carried out, uh, and has a very clear agenda in uh, defeating uh, Boko Haram and extremism uh, of all sorts inside of his country. Uh, and he has a very clear agenda uh, with respect to rooting out the corruption uh, that too often has held back uh, the economic growth and prosperity uh, of his country. Uh, on both these issues, we're looking forward to uh, hearing more about his plans and how the United States can partner uh, with Nigeria uh, so that uh, Nigeria ends up being an anchor not only of prosperity uh, and stability uh, in uh, the eastern port part of the continent, uh, but uh, can also be uh, an outstanding role model uh, for uh, developing countries uh, around the world. And uh, we very much look forward to talking about security issues, how we can cooperate on counterterrorism. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, discussing how we can be helpful uh, in addressing some of the corruption issues uh, that have held Nigeria back uh, and unleashing the incredible talent uh, of uh, the Nigerian people. Uh, uh, we all recognize that uh, uh, some of the best business people in the world are from Nigeria and they thrive uh, as they uh, travel uh, to other countries, but we want to make sure that they're also helping uh, folks thrive in Nigeria. Uh, we're also going to have an opportunity to talk about some of the other areas where Nigeria has taken leadership um, in public health issues, uh, fighting uh, you know, tragedies like Ebola. Uh, Nigeria has uh, an outstanding track record of working with us uh, to, to uh, eradicate polio, uh, and that gives us a, a framework and a template uh, to continue to work on public health issues throughout uh, uh, the western part of Africa, uh, as well as uh, uh, throughout the subcontinent. Uh, we'll have a chance to talk about issues of climate change, uh, electrification. As many of you know, uh, Power Africa is one of our top priorities, making sure that we're uh, electrifying uh, the continent so that it can grow faster more people have access to the power that they need. Uh, so we've got a busy agenda, uh, but I want to uh, emphasize how much uh, I appreciate uh, President Buhari's work so far. Uh, looking forward to uh, seeing him put together his team uh, so that we can uh, do everything that we can to help uh, him succeed and help uh, the people of Nigeria succeed. Uh, because if, if they are successful in doing well, uh, that will have a ripple effect uh, not only in uh, West Africa, but uh, throughout the world. So thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Well, <coughs> Nigeria will remain ever grateful to President Obama and the United States for backing Nigeria to consolidate uh, its gains on the democratic system. The visit of the Secretary of State uh, when he visited Nigeria to see the president, the former president of Nigeria, see the chairman of uh, uh, independent uh, national electoral commission for West Nigeria, and so the opposition uh, was uh, very clear and a positive 
trend that saw us through for this incredible election we had. And um, uh, the maintenance of pressure by United States, mainly, and, and Europe, to make sure that the elections were free, fair, and credible, uh, led us to where we are now. Um, um, it would have been almost impossible if the United States did not maintain the pressure on the former Nigerian government that uh, they will not accept anything less constitutional as far as the processes of the election are concerned. We will, we will ever remain grateful to you because uh, uh, other than uh, other three fundamental objectives that uh, our party identified, the uh, All Nigeria People's uh, uh, Congress, uh, or that um, uh, security, economy, and employment, especially of youth, and then fighting corruption. We are extremely happy that the uh, United States had made it absolutely clear, even before the election, that they are prepared to help Nigeria in this uh, aspect. And uh, that's why I am here, and I'm very grateful for the invitation Mr. President extended to me. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Mr. President. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I think it will send a clear message that uh, the overwhelming number of countries who not only participated in the deal, uh, the P5 plus one, but uh, who uh, have observed what's happened, recognize that uh, this is uh, by far uh, our strongest approach to ensuring that Iran does not get a nuclear weapon. Uh, there is broad international consensus around this issue, uh, not just uh, among uh, the international community, but also among uh, experts in uh, nuclear proliferation. Uh, and uh, my working assumption is, is that Congress will uh, pay attention uh, to that broad-based consensus. All right. Thank you very much, everybody.